If you're traveling this summer, these are some of the very best Amazon travel essentials that you'll want to bring on a cruise. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I'm so excited for this video, probably because I absolutely love summer. Now I have been ordering and trying out some of the different popular Amazon travel essentials. I have some amazing new items for you in this video, including one item that is very trendy. I even asked in the Life Wall Cruise Facebook community if it's a yes or a no. Personally, I think I really like it and I am gonna share it with you, but I would like to know what you think. Now in this video, I am gonna have a lot of beach and pool travel essentials. So really good things for Caribbean cruises, Bahamas cruises, Bermuda cruises. I'll also include some things that you can use for Mediterranean cruises. And because I'm asked about it so often, I am going to include some fashion finds for men and women that you could use on a cruise. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, a sand-free microfiber towel. Now, the funny thing is on cruises, you actually are provided with towels that you can take to the beach when you get off the cruise ship for an excursion. However, I have a very good friend who recently went on her first cruise with her husband and her two children. And she told me that an absolute lifesaver for her, a necessity, was bringing these sand-free microfiber towels. They're so thin, they're so light, she was able to put them into her tote bag for her shore excursion days. And she did say as a first time cruiser, this is an absolute must have. Number two, a large beach blanket. Now very similar to the sand free microfiber towels, this beach blanket spreads out really large, but it's actually very small. So very easy to pack up for a beach day. Number three, speaking of the beach, something else that you'll wanna do is bring something to keep any of the items that you have with you. So for instance, your phone, if you bring a passport with you, if you have money with you, your wallet, any of those things, you'll wanna have that in a waterproof waste pouch. Now this is very good if you go on a snorkeling excursion or perhaps you go to the beach and you spend some time in the water, you don't wanna leave things in your bag on the beach, then this is something I highly recommend. Number four, a waterproof phone case. Now I swear by this, we have gone through lazy rivers, we have climbed Duns River Falls, even just to use in the swimming pool on the cruise ship on the Lido deck. You know, you don't wanna keep your phone by your deck chair. Instead, you wanna probably bring it with you to the pool. If you do think you are gonna be in the pool, this is something very convenient. Now, by the way, everything that I am mentioning in this video, I am gonna have all of the links to these items linked down below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check them out. Number five, moving away from Caribbean cruises for just a minute, a money belt or waist pouch. Now, if you're going on a Mediterranean cruise or perhaps you're going somewhere else that you are a little bit concerned about keeping your items safe, in particular from pickpockets, this is an absolute must. Now, we were on a Mediterranean cruise last year. We saw somebody else being pickpocketed at the same restaurant that we were in in Barcelona and I can tell you that this gave us a lot of security. A travel adapter. If you are traveling internationally, you'll want to bring a travel adapter. We used this in our hotel when we were in Barcelona, when we were in Rome and the little travel hack for you, you can use this in your cabin as well to make use of that additional outlet. A non-surge protected power cube. If you're going on a cruise, something that you should know is there will not usually be very many electric outlets in a cabin to charge your items, your devices, etc. Personally, I like this power cube. It is non-surge protected, which by the way is a necessity. You are not allowed to bring on a surge protected power strip onto a cruise. This one is my preference. And the newer version not only has these USB outlets, but has USB-C and USB-A outlets. Body Glide Anti-Chafing Balm. Now, no matter where you are traveling in the summertime, it can get hot. And this is definitely something that can be potentially a lifesaver. Towel clips. Now I actually purchased some new towel clips, but I have not even had to use them yet because I have had these towel clips for probably about 10 years. They are the absolute best quality towel clips, better than the cheaper version, which by the way, 
I do not use anymore. They've broken on me too many times. So I definitely suggest these if you do want to have towel clips with you for the beach and the Lido deck. Towel bands. Now, some people don't like to use the towel clips because they are bigger and they are a little bit bulky. So instead, you can definitely use towel bands. I've started to use them more recently. I really do like them, but I have a little travel hack for you. If you like with these towel bands, what you can do is not only use them on your deck chairs, but you can actually use them on your luggage to have them look differentiated from all of the other black luggage. A zippered straw or crochet bag. Now, a lot of people said they absolutely loved my crochet bag. So my crochet beach bag, I brought this on a recent cruise. I just love it. But some of the feedback that I got is that you like a bag that has a zipper. So I did buy this one and it's such a good size. So even for the pool, if you wanna put any of the different items you have from your Kindle to your sunscreen, etc., all of that can stay in here. And of course you can use it for those beach days as well. And let me show you, it has a zipper over here so if you do prefer something that's zipped, you can even use it actually in the airplane. And this is my crochet bag. I still just absolutely love this. Now it doesn't have a zipper, but if you're not putting anything in that is valuable, this will work just fine. Now I did buy a new tote bag that some people are absolutely loving for a cruise and some people are saying no. It's just too big and bulky. It's not right for a cruise, but I will share that with you in just a few minutes. Now, this item is really smart. What this does is you actually use these little beach mats or sand mats to get any of the sand off your feet or your children's feet. Now, a couple of years ago, I did try the trick with the baby powder, but a lot of people said you really wouldn't want to fly with baby powder in a little plastic baggie. I have to agree that's probably true. And according to all the reviews, I have not tried them yet, but these seem to work really well. If you've tried these before, please let me know your experience down in the comments below. Summer themed zippered pouches. Now they came in a pack of two and I absolutely love these in particular for a summer vacation. Now I particularly like pouches to keep everything organized. So you can keep your items like your sunscreen, pillbox, all of that in there. You can keep your electronics in another, but basically anything that you might need for a day, either on the cruise or at the beach. Now I have my two favorite chargers in here. This is, I think the most convenient one for when you're on the go. This just plugs right into the bottom of your phone and you can charge your phone while you use it. And this one I do think is probably the best one in terms of fast charging. And it actually can charge two phones with this, but it does require a separate wire. So this is one that I keep as a backup. A magnetic pillbox. Now this is the small size. And this is what I use. I think it's just perfect. You can put any of your over-the-counter medications. Now, in particular for a cruise, there are some over-the-counter medications that you're going to want to make sure that you have. That includes Tums, that includes some Bonine or some Dramamine, so something for potential seasickness. And of course, any over-the-counter pain medications that you personally use. Now, by the way, if you're planning a cruise and you are getting ready, I do have the LifeWall Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now, the LifeWall Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that you can use to keep organized for your cruise from the time that you book your cruise all the way through embarkation and debarkation. Now it includes cruise packing lists, but it also includes cruise embarkation forms, cruise outfit planning forms, cruise shore excursion planning forms, and more. If you are interested in seeing what's included in the LifeWall Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner, I'm gonna leave all of the information linked down below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check it out. Sun protection. So anywhere you go, you'll wanna make sure that you do bring your sunscreen. Now, personally, I really like this one if you're going to be using it for your face or anything like that. But if you are going to many of the different Caribbean islands or even Hawaii, you are going to need a reef safe sunscreen. So this one works really well. Neutrogena tinted lip balm with an SPF. Now, usually this is what I wear on every cruise, but recently we were in Florida for a couple of weeks and I did not bring this one. Anyway, I use something else. Most of the time I just use lip gloss on my lips. My lips got very dry and I've been actually having a little bit of an ongoing saga with this. Recently I shared Aquaphor and people said that's actually not lip balm with an SPF. So you might be right, but I did try something else for dry lips, dry chap lips 
It is the La Roche. It was a little bit more expensive than Aquaphor, I have to say, but this one is really soothing. It really is more of a lip repair. If this is something that you need, I highly recommend it. The bog style tote bag. Now this is actually not a bog. I did a lot of research and a lot of people seem to have very good reviews for this one. It is by the brand Simple Modern. So this is what I decided to try. And I have seen a lot of people say that they absolutely love bringing this on a cruise and in particular for Caribbean and Bahamas cruises and as well if you might be driving. However, I did have some hints and some tips from people. What some people said is even though it is it is bulky, you could see, but you could fit everything in here. So you can fit your towels, you can fit your sunscreen, you can fit water bottles, you can fit flip flops, water shoes, everything that you could need for both the cruise and as well for those beach days. But the tip when it comes to packing is that you can pack this up with your packing cubes and with any of your items and then you can actually just put it sideways right into your luggage so you do not have to use it as a carry-on bag. Now alternatively you can use this as a carry-on bag and then you can use sand-free microfiber towels to just simply lay that over the top to keep everything covered. Now I did buy it in a couple of colors. I really like this one. I think it's called Ocean. The other one that I showed you is called Sage. I really like that as well because I love blue. Uh, but I did want to show you on the inside of it, you have this little pouch that is waterproof. So that is very handy. And I bought it in this color as well. I thought that this was quite cute. Now this is the medium size. The other one that I just showed you is the large. Now, some people said they absolutely love it for a cruise and they bring it on, but other people said it is way too bulky, although they do tend to use it at home for beach vacations and even the car. Please let me know your own feedback down in the comments below. Okay, moving on, I have a few more travel essentials and then I'm gonna show you a few shoes and fashion items for men and for women. A large mesh beach bag. Now, I have this one in black, but I don't tend to really reach for it. And then I thought maybe it's because it's in black and it just doesn't feel colorful enough for me. So I bought this one. Now, what I do like about it is all of these pouches. So you can put water shoes, you could put sunscreen, any different items on the outside, but as well on the inside, well, it does have a zipper. So that is really good. And you also have an inside pouch that is also sealed and zippered and waterproof. And I do think that this is really handy if you're trying to pack a little bit lighter, it's very light, it can go right inside your luggage, even in a carry-on bag, and it can fold up. A refillable water bottle. Now I decided to buy a new water bottle. This is a little bit larger than the ones that I had been using in the past. I think it's 32 ounces. So I did want a larger one and I wanted something that had this little spout as well and I'm absolutely loving it. Water shoes. Now I've mentioned these before, but you do not need to bring these on every cruise. But if you think that you're going on a cruise where you're going to have a little bit of a rocky beach, even some of the private islands do have this. These are extremely handy and they're very flat so that you can pack them in different parts of your luggage. Now don't forget to bring a sun hat, but something else that I have been bringing for at least the last year or so and this is just so handy. Not a lot of people know about it, but it is so convenient. I get asked about it all the time. It is a hat clip. So you can actually clip your hat right onto your tote bag or onto your handbag and it will stay with you and it will never get squished. Silicone bottle covers. So these are the bottle covers and you can see that this is the way they work. So in particular, if you're bringing insect repellent, maybe sunscreen, maybe any shampoo bottles, that kind of thing, you'll wanna have these. These are really very inexpensive. They hold up so well. About a year ago or so, maybe a little bit longer actually, I bought another brand and honestly, they ripped on me, but these I have actually used and reused on several trips now and these hold up perfectly. Now, if you're somebody who really likes a backpack, you are going to love this foldable backpack. This is really handy. I've used it in Alaska. I've used it in Canada, New England, and it actually folds up super small so you can bring it with you. And even if you wanna have like an extra backpack just in case 
you need that. You can use it as a personal item, even on a plane. It's really nice and small, but it is expandable and it is water resistant, a dry bag. Now I have to say, this is not something that I've ever used before, but I have seen a lot of people mention it and that they bring it. So I think in some cases, maybe if you're doing a canoe excursion or you're doing another excursion where you really need to keep things, a larger amount of things, dry then this is something very convenient okay i got a couple of new pairs of shoes so they are flat shoes so they could be really worn just about anywhere that you go that you are traveling to this summer i love these now i always like to have a neutral pair of shoes because they could go with everything and honestly they can go with a little sundress they can go with jeans they can go with a pair of shorts so I really like it. And since they are neutral, they can even be dressed up a little bit as well. Now these are actually designer inspired. So if you take a look and you can even Google it, but they look very similar to the Hermes sandals. Now another sandal, I just bought these. I absolutely love them. I've had them before in white and they're by the brand, The Drop by the way, which if I'm not mistaken is Amazon's brand. So usually that really is a pretty solid good brand but i've tried both of these shoes just wearing them around the house so far but they are very comfortable a cover-up with long sleeves now i wore this on a recent caribbean cruise and i really liked it because it could look really like a dress and in particular if you do want to have a sleeve if you don't want something too see-through this is something very pretty a lace style cover-up now I love this one. I have it in white and I have it in black as well. So it is very flattering and it's available in several different colors. All right, now for the guys, this swimsuit, I just bought this for Frank. Now, isn't this adorable, this little nautical print? And by the way, it is available in different patterns, in different colors, Ethan and Frank have both had this bathing suit before and it is very comfortable and good quality. This short sleeve shirt is a very nice style. Sorry that I'm not showing it here very well. I'll try to insert a little bit of B-roll, but it is available in different colors. Ethan has it in like that stone beige, which is really nice in the navy color and as well we just purchased it in white now frank brought this shirt on our last caribbean cruise he got so many compliments on it by the way it is available in a lot of different patterns and it is not only so comfortable by the way but it is so light and airy it is absolutely perfect even for a beach day magnet hooks now i've mentioned magnet hooks before but whenever i don't mention them in a video somebody will always ask about it so yes magnet hooks are an absolute cruise essential i'm gonna link the best ones down in the description below and something that a lot of people like to bring on a cruise and we probably don't talk about often enough are portable hangers. Now, in particular, I actually have started to bring them when I travel and I'm not even on a cruise because they're so good for hotel rooms. Now they fold up small like this and they come in a pack. I think it is 10 or a dozen. Now I am gonna leave all of the links to the items that I spoke about in this video down in the description below as well as the life wall cruise ultimate cruise planner in case you do want to check it out now i'd love to hear from you please let me know what are some of your favorite items to travel with this summer please let me know down in the comments below now i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already bye for now and happy cruising